Hello folks, I just wanted to make a, an unusual update and bring your attention to something that all space geeks should have. And that is what you see on my big ass TV. We're getting a live video feed from space, from NASA. But I'm not looking in at a NASA website. What I have running here is this. It's a Raspberry Pi. Model 3, single board computer, extremely powerful, full networking with wired and Wi-Fi, HDMI output. But the key thing is it's what's running on here is a program called ISS Above for International Space Station Above, written by a guy named Liam Kennedy. I found out about Liam through a YouTube channel that I watch and I'm actually a Patreon of called Tomorrow or T-M-R-O as they spell it. They had Liam on as a guest last weekend and explained this uh, project that he's been working on. You can actually buy a whole kit from him with the board and the software installed or you can just download the software. So that's what I did. I downloaded the software I bought the uh, Raspberry Pi online here in Thailand. It actually came from Chiang Mai. I think it costs about $17, including shipping. You take Liam's software, you flash it onto an 8 gigabyte memory card, which is right there. You boot it up. You, you have to actually plug a network card in first which takes you to the configuration screen. From there you can enable the Wi-Fi and join your Wi-Fi network and then you no longer need the network cable which is good for me because I have zero slots left on my router. And then one of the things you do in the configuration is you tell it where in the world you are and then it uh, does several things for you on the screen. It gives you real-time high definition video coming from the International Space Station and it cycles through a few screens. We'll see what comes up next but one of the things it does is it tells you when the next overfly of the space station is to your location. Now sometimes these are in the day or uh, at night when they're not visible but what it does tells you is the next visible pass which is right around dawn and right around sunset where the space station is above you in the dark but the sun is shining on it and reflecting down so you can see a reflection of the space station as it goes overhead <clears throat> and uh, you'll see maybe we'll get another screen uh, another screen it does is it gives you the profile of all the astronauts on the space station ah and then this one it gives you the flight track of where it's going. It tells you when your next pass is, how high it is, how fast it's going. Um, and you can notice the velocity here is uh, 4.8 miles per second. That's screaming fast, about 17,500 miles an hour. Here's the next visible pass screen. The next time I'm going to be able to see it fly over is in 20 days at 7 18 31 p.m. it'll be visible for two minutes and 18 seconds and it'll appear from the north northeast and disappear to I, I missed that the southwest maybe so it, it tracks across the sky I've been doing this for years because I get email alerts from NASA when it's going over me so I'll go up to the roof of my condo and watch it go by or if I happen to be in town, I'll just stand in the road and watch it go over. People think I'm crazy, but that's nothing new. It also has the schedule of upcoming events on NASA TV, interviews uh, from space with the people on the space station. And uh, it's just the coolest, geekiest thing for, you know, what you pay for, what I pay for in Diet Coke in a week. So I'm good. Now, the other thing I did is the Raspberry Pi comes with no case but uh, luckily the world has some very creative people and a website called Thingiverse where a guy designed 
3D CAD model of two halves of a cover box for uh, Raspberry Pi Model 3. So I downloaded his files and I can't get it back on with one hand. There it goes. I downloaded his files, put them up on the computer, sent them over to the printer and in about three hours I had a little box. Now first I held it in with some zip ties but I actually bought some tiny little screws and uh, they do a really good job of holding it together. So all I need now is a USB power and an HDMI connector and I've got several in the back of the TV. So it's just my latest little geek toy and I'm very thrilled at how it works and thankful to Liam for making this for us and making it super affordable to uh, buy his program and download it. I'm always happy to pay for good quality products and to the Tomorrow People for having him on the show and I'm a Patreon of the show and I'm actually scheduled, I worked my schedule around, I'm going to be visiting the Tomorrow set uh, in mid-September when I make my visit over. I'll be stopping in LA for a couple of days. So I'm happy about that. So uh, hopefully you will have seen the links to all the different things that are involved in this on the screen and uh, if you have a feeling that this is for you, go ahead and download everything and enjoy it. Space Mikey out.